God bless you. I'm Bishop Eric Butler, and I'm coming to you from the Joy of Life Faith Ministries in Omaha, Nebraska. And I just want to share an encouraging word for you today. And I want to read from the word, 1 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 8, where it says, Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among all people. Sundred seventh Psalms in the first verse says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. First Thessalonians, the fifth verse and the 18th, uh, the fifth chapter and the 18th verse says, And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you today from that scripture with this word, giving thanks always for all things. That might be seem difficult right now, might seem difficult with all of the things that we're going through, job losses, uh, economic stress, some of us may have loved ones that are sick. Uh, we know of even some here locally who have loved ones that have passed away and uh, members of our church, loved ones after long illnesses have passed away. And we all have lost loved ones. We all have gone through challenges. We all have gone through diff difficulties and situations that frankly didn't make us feel good. And it's tough in those times to think about what the Lord is instructing us. He doesn't say that we should be giving thanks for all things, but in everything that we're in, we still give thanks. No matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstances are, we still give thanks. Thanksgiving and a grateful heart is required of all of us. Despite the circumstances, despite the environment, Despite uh, the situation, having a grateful heart and thanksgiving is a requirement. If nothing else, we should be thankful for the great work that God has done in our lives, that great work of salvation, that, that great work of sanctification. We could be thankful in advance that we know God is going to answer all of our prayers. We could be thankful in advance because we know that God is still taking care of us. We could be thankful in advance because we know despite the circumstances we may be faced with, God is still God. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. We still know who's in control. We still know who's un in charge. We still know who has the final say so. In the natural world, there's an appeal process. Whenever you might be subject to the criminal law or the civil law and something happens, there is an appeals process and you could have several stages of appeal. An appeal in a state court, appeal in a district court, an appeal in a federal court, an appeal all the way up to the Supreme Court. And even after that, there's also some things known as presidential pardons, governor pardons, where you get an appeal for something that has happened, but you could be pardoned from it. We understand God has the final say-so. He is the final appeals court. He is the final pardoning party, and he has the final say on everything that happens. So we need to understand that a day and time like this, we're going to give thanks always for all things. Despite what we're going through, despite what we're dealing with, we are going to be happy in Jesus alone. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today and we bless you. We glorify you. We thank you. You're still God. We thank you that you're still keeping us. You're still blessing us. You're still watching over us. We thank you for watching over our families and watching over our loved ones. We thank you for keeping our city, our state, our country. We thank you for being everywhere in the world and blessing the people that need you. We thank you that you're still in control. And so give us a grateful heart. Give us a thankful heart. Even in the midst of what we're dealing with, we pray these things in your name. Amen. 
God bless you. Thank you again for joining with us. And remember, God is still God and he's still in control.